eventually we will finally get to watch the Eternals, but until then, they're going to keep talking about it in different ways. Whether it's the actors dropping some sort of hints of what we can expect, or the director herself talking about the upcoming film and franchise potential. Today, we're going to talk about the mythology behind the Marvel Universe and what they're aiming to do. The director of the upcoming Eternals, Chloe Zhao, recently spoke with Entertainment Tonight, and she specifically was asked about the Eternals' placement in the overall scheme of what Marvel Studios is doing and the direction that the MCU is going in. Now, she would not provide any spoilers or talk about anything more grandiose, but she did have an interesting quote, and she said, and I quote, I think, you know, fans can look forward to getting to know a group of new heroes, fall in love with them, exploring new mythology, and a new ride. So it's going to be good. I'm proud of it." End quote. Now let's bring this all the way back to what Kevin Feige said about the future of the MCU, and how certain new things are going to sort of have their uh, piece placed on the chessboard ahead of when they show up. This, in terms to many of us, means the X-Men. This is where you establish the X-Men, the mutant gene, the inhuman variant of evolution and all that, because everything Everything in Marvel Comics, the mutants, the inhumans, uh, humanity, traces its heritage all the way back to the Eternals and the Celestials because they were experiments. In terms of the mythology of the MCU, everything on Earth, the human species, is all an experiment done by the Celestials and the Skrull and Kree War all factors into this, which we've already seen play out to some degree on the big screen. It would make sense if you're going to explain, hey, why do humans suddenly evolve to this point where mutants can happen? Why is there a certain gene in humanity that suddenly manifests itself within you when you're a teenager and you get random powers. Oh well, guess what? We explained that in the Eternals because a certain deviation happened when we were trying to make slavery for the planet, aka humans. So, you know, um, there you go. Like, you can explore a lot of that. And we know that they're looking at the Eternals as a franchise starter, meaning it's not a one and done it's going to go beyond that. So I definitely think with her teasing a new mythology, it sort of confirms what many of us thought was going to be the idea. Lay down the foundation of eventually exploring all these different things, so it's not just like, oh, look, yes, mutants are just a thing. It's like, that's kind of lazy, which is in terms that is what Stan Lee did originally, but then they went back with Kirby and such and came up with a more grandiose concept of how everything happened the way it did. Like, for example, Wolverine. His backstory was established way later after he came into the comics. 